So remember, we have done a lot of different greetings. Can anybody remind me of a greeting that we've done? Zion. Butterfly. Yeah, we take our thumb. What else, Landon? During our morning meeting today, the students were provided with lots of choices. During their greeting, they could choose a handshake, fist bump, high five. So, and they're all aware of those. We do them all the time. Remember, you think about the one that you want to do, and you don't have to do the same one that everyone else does. It's your choice. All right, Landon, we're going to start with you and make our way around. Go ahead and greet your neighbor. Good morning. We have choices provided in our morning meeting every day. That's an easy place to add choice, a safe place to add choice. Good morning, Landon. Good morning. All right, friends, you made good choices. Let's rate ourselves. If we think we used loud and proud level three voices, if we looked at our friends and we were quiet listening to others, give ourselves a thumbs up. I think we take for granted that our students come to us understanding what their choice is, that they affect others, knowing what responsible choices are, safe choices. So we have discussions about it. All right, Kyren. So we're gonna talk about applying for our new job and being responsible in our new jobs. Today was job application day in second grade. So we reviewed what it means to be responsible and what responsibility looks like in the classroom, what a responsible character might be, so we're going to fill out our anchor chart. The anchor chart is used as a display in the classroom or kind of a reminder of a skill or an idea that we're focusing on. So we use the anchor chart to kind of display the word responsibility, the definition, characteristics of a responsible person. Responsible friends are usually trustworthy. So I'm going to add my word to the board that they're trustworthy and that I can count on them to get the job done even when I'm not looking. So they're usually trustworthy. What else are we thinking, Legacy? That they're nice to others. Ooh, they're nice to others. They have 10 jobs to choose from, and then they choose which one they would like and tell me why they would be best fit for that job. If we are responsible and something's really hard, do we give up? No. no. We try our best. And they know that once they get their job, they're not guaranteed to keep it if they can't fulfill that duty. Sometimes they'll have to take a break from their job for a day. That kind of sense of responsibility has to go throughout the whole month of their specific role or job that they play in our classroom. Okay, friends. Yesterday, we read the story about Rainbow Fish. And Rainbow Fish made some choices. What choice did Rainbow Fish make at the beginning? He didn't want to share his sparkly fins. Then he went and talked to the wise octopus. And the wise octopus gave him some advice, and he changed his mind. And at the end of One of the barriers that you face is just the misconception that you throw the choices out there, and it's a free-for-all. There's a lot of structure. There's a lot of thought and planning that needs to go into it. Choices are very powerful, and we get a chance to make those every day. Who's affected by those choices? If we make responsible choices or not so responsible choices? Lakira? Everybody. Guys, our choices can affect everybody. You set those parameters, you set those guidelines, so then it feels safe for you too. And then just having the students understand that there are consequences for all of our choices. You made a choice to help your friend. I want to hear about more pictures that were painted. Jalen. In order to help students take responsibility, I try to put them in a situation that if they made an irresponsible choice, how their choice is affecting others, because I think that's huge for them to recognize. I also have them do think sheets where they kind of think about their action and write how they could have done something different. So go ahead and just turn to your partner and share with them so that everyone gets to share today. Um. In the beginning of the school year, we create our classroom norms, our classroom rules together. Um, when we do that, we also create or brainstorm what those consequences would be if we were to break any of those classroom norms or rules. Listening? Go ahead, Landon. When me and my cousin play tag, I got angrier and angrier, and my fist got very, very bad, and I pushed them. 
I held them back up and I said sorry. Landon, if I can add on to what you just said, Landon didn't make a very safe or responsible choice at first, did he? He hurt his cousin. And then Landon made a safe choice because Landon helped him up and apologized. The students are a part of coming up with logical consequences. When you start solving those problems on your own now, then when we're adults, think of how we manage conflict and think of how we problem solve. We're giving them the power to do that as children. So when the consequences to their choices are much larger than they are now, we've set them up for success. It's as important as teaching them how to read.